In Milford, Connecticut, high school principal Francis Thompson is desperately trying to snuff out a problem that teachers are having all across the country. They would come in here, you'd have four or five kids at a time congregating, and they'd start to vape. It's a trend that many parents are not even aware of. But e-cigarette use, or vaping, has grown an astonishing 900% among high school students in recent years, according to the Surgeon General. And a 2016 National Youth Tobacco Survey found nearly 1.7 million high school students and 500,000 middle schoolers had used e-cigarettes in just the 30-day period before the survey was taken. In Rentham, Massachusetts, Assistant Vice Principal Spencer Christie says he too is overwhelmed by this new and pervasive epidemic. Our jewel pods. Now it's moved to students vaping in hallways, vaping in classrooms. In the back two desks in the corner, um, they had their hands kind of up like this, um, and there was a blue light coming from between their hands. The most popular item, which is the jewel, and as you can see, it looks like a flash drive. It's not. And then the kids can just tuck it away when they're done. So. It's not just the design of these products. Critics say all these flavors also entice kids to start vaping. One study out of Harvard found some of these artificial flavors contain diacetyl. That's a chemical linked to severe respiratory disease. The kids that I talk to believe that there's nothing in there that's dangerous. They don't think there's anything more than water. It's not water. It's called e-liquid. And when heated by the coil, it changes to an aerosol. Columbia University researchers using this machine found the vapor has toxic metals like chromium, nickel, zinc, and lead. And as we know, there is no safe level of lead. With very little regulation, people are not fully aware of what they're consuming. I sat down with the FDA commissioner, Scott Gottlieb, and asked him about this e-cig phenomenon. Youth use is deeply concerning to me. We're going to be taking some enforcement actions very soon to target uh, companies that we think are marketing products in ways that they're deliberately appealing to kids. I'm going to be having conversations with some of these companies, trying to um, inspire them, if I can, to take more corrective actions on their own. Don't forget, nicotine is one of the most addictive substances out there. I think it's the next epidemic among teenagers. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.